Okay, this is Ethan, and I'm going to tell you guys why I believe that Microsoft is trying to become Apple. So, the first thing is that we all know that they introduced Windows Vista, and it came with a lot of new features. One of them was the sidebar, which came with all the gadgets. Doesn't that remind you of something, maybe the widgets in Mac OS X? And also, they introduced their fine line of all these programs that seem to resemble program applications from Mac OS X that they already had. Now, the calendar looks exactly the same. They introduced Windows Photo Gallery. They introduced Windows, the new Windows Movie Maker, which there was a drawing towards iLife. Well, they were. And then they introduced the Zune, or maybe it was before Vista or whatever, but um, it resembles the iPod. It has that little touch wheel thing. It ha just like the iPod, except for it doesn't go around. No, it's like it's like a touchpad on a laptop. But it it just works the same. It has everything's in the same place. But it's still no match. Then they came out just recently, like a week or two ago, they came out with the Zune HD, which is almost an exact replica or cheesy replica of the iPod Touch, which has the exact same features. It has a, even has a little button at the bottom, which you press, and then it goes to the home screen, just like the iPod Touch. The next thing I'm going to talk about is Windows 7, one of the biggest things that's going on. Okay, so they introduced their own dock, and that is the taskbar at the bottom with the humongous icons, which doesn't look anything as nice as a dock, but they're just completely copying them. And you click on one of them, and the window pops up. Um, they tried to make, oh yeah, and then Windows Vista, they also tried to make that switch between the windows thing. Where it like goes through the windows. They're trying to create new cool effects just like App Mac OS 10, like spaces, and they also have just a bunch of different cool effects like that. Okay. And also, Windows 7 introduced their own version of iLife. So now they come, it comes with the new Windows Movie Maker, and it comes with. Windows Live um, Photo Gallery, Windows Live, um, cap just everything. Everything that is in, they have like iWeb, or the Web Maker, whatever it's called, and they have everything. It's just their own version of iLife, or Windows Live. And then the next thing is, they have the gadgets now go across the screen just like Apple or Mac OS X, okay? Now, the, the last thing I'm going to talk about is the Apple stores. And now Microsoft has their Microsoft or Windows stores or whatever they're called. And they're coming out. I don't know if they're out or not. I haven't looked into it yet. But... Yeah, so they're out now. They look almost exactly like an Apple store. Everything inside is nice and clean and white and stuff. Just like Apple um, stores. But they're probably not going to be anywhere near as nice. But they just still try are trying to resemble the Apple store. But, yeah, so I'm guessing all this is going to be a complete failure. There's probably got, not going to be any switching switchers from Mac to PC. In fact, that almost never happens. It's usually the other way around. And so that's all I wanted to talk about. Yeah, this video is probably pretty crappy, but I just wanted to get my thoughts out there. So if you're going to hate on this video, I don't give crap.